All right, guys, we'll get started. Uh, obviously, today we're trying to kind of keep this uh, about 15 minutes with an extra five minutes of Q&A. Um, it's called Real to Real for a reason. Reels of Tape Light, we're bringing this to real life applications. The idea is that usually when I'm training with people, right, it's maybe five minutes a slide for each type of product. Um, and we really don't get to go deep dive into these actual products. And so today we're going to really focus on a single product, Celeste, which is our highest grade gold standard tape light. And then from here, this is something that we want you to look forward to, come to expect. Uh, pretty much every first Monday of the month, we're going to have a reel to reel. It will always be on a different product and we'll really dive deep into these products. With actual Q&A at the end, uh, we're looking for feedback on the product, questions on the products, um, anything else you would like to see with it, even success stories with it and applications you've used it or maybe unique. Um, so yeah, today we'll get started. Let's switch over to the slides here. All right, so I want to go over the actual specs of Celeste first, and then I kind of, today we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a higher understanding too of CRI and R values and gamut fidelity. I think it's necessary with Celeste and this tape light due to it being our gold standard. In my opinion, I think this is one of the best tape lights on the market by far. Um, I'm hoping today, obviously, we'll be able to prove that through some of the specs as well as hopefully in the future getting this in your hands because obviously with training right seeing is believing getting to actually see this product in hand shining it on different actual colors and seeing how those actual colors render right so for us that though we'll kind of go to the high level specs first so this is a precision engineered high density tape light in other words it's a tight pitch tape light so you're probably used to seeing tape light that maybe has around 36 diodes a foot with Celeste, you have double that amount. You have 72 diodes of foot. So the idea would be if you don't have a channel and you're using this somewhere, you're going to get a nice clean beam of light. Or even if you are using it in a low profile channel, now you're not gonna see those dots or semi diffusion. It's gonna look completely crisp across the entire lens. Um, nice thing about Celeste too, is that we give you options. So you have as low as 150 lumens of foot all the way up to a thousand plus lumens of foot. So gone are the days where you only have to use this for accent lighting, right? You don't have to just use this for under cab, toe kick lighting, behind mirror, right? All these different areas where you're just trying to have a little splash of light. Now you can actually use Celeste with a nice channel and a premium diffusion lens and actually get general illumination out of this product. Um, really due to the engineering that goes into our tape light, Really, now there's not a single application you can't use tape light in. So really the sky's the limit. Um, it's factory field assembly. So just to, to note that you can cut this in field. What's nice about Celeste is we give you every 1.3 inch cut points. So unlike the standard out there is anywhere from two inches to four inches and sometimes even tape light that's up to eight inches. Installers love this. Um, they have a lot of flexibility in field to be able to cut this where they need it and fit it into specific dimensions. Um, a great CCT range as well. So 2000 Kelvin all the way up to 6300 Kelvin. Sorry for that typo there. Um, that is not 63,000 Kelvin, 6,300 Kelvin. So again, right, being able to have, you know, everything from really high-end residential um, to even getting that commercial crisp white light. Um, you have 15 channel profile options as well. Um, that is all on the website. Everything from spec grade channels to 45 degree channels to mudding channels, all different styles of channels to be able to house this uh, Celeste tape light in to really be able to change the shape and form of your light as well as how that light shines on different types of applications and products and uh, um, uh, and surfaces. Oh, cool. Keep going. Uh, this, just note though, this is a little bit of a larger tape light. Uh, most tape light out there is eight millimeters in width. This is 12 millimeters in width. And the reason why I note this is that this does not fit in every single type of channel out there, specifically with our channels. Anything that you see on Lucetta though, Celeste will actually fit into that channel. It's also only 24 volts. Um, we really do believe that the future of tape light and this industry LED low voltage lighting is going towards 24 volt, but just wanted to note it, there are some territories or specific applications where you need 12 volt. Um, just note that Celeste, it only comes in 24 volts and that is due to that tight pitch tape light, the diodes and the amperage that it pulls. It pulls too much amperage for 12 volts. 
Um, you also have a max run of 55 feet. That is something unique about uh, Lucetta in the industry is we have some of the longest max runs due to actually designing our electrical circuit boards. So I wanna take a quick look at the actual tape light. So we'll do the top down here. Hopefully you can see it here, uh, give you a nice little close up of it. This is actually our Celeste tape light, as you can see, just about a 12 inch section. So you can note here, right, the diodes are very, very close together, almost touching. So on 12 inches, you get about 72 diodes a foot. Something that's unique about our tape light, though, a few things, right, is that we actually design and engineer everything from the ground up. If you know about us, Diode and Lucetta in the industry, um, we manufacture quite a bit actually in Reno, Nevada. But what makes us different is obviously we're not going to lie, right? We can't manufacture tape light in the U.S. It would be 10 times too expensive. But what makes us different is that we design and engineer everything from the ground up. So our PCB, which is the backing on the actual tape light, we have the thickest PCBs in the industry. The actual gold on this, this is a high grade gold. Uh, some of the mo uh, it's the most gold put in any type of tape light, as well as if you're seeing our other tape lights, which is copper. We use some of the highest grade copper as well as the most copper in our actual tape light. The actual circuit boards on the back of this tape light, we actually plot out these circuit boards, we design them ourselves, we do the tolerances for them, which is why we can have some of the highest lumen outputs in tape light, why we can do some of the longest max runs, and we can give you some of the longest warranties in the industry, which is seven years, and with Celeste, it's a 12 year. And then something, probably the most unique thing I always want to touch on with Celeste tape light is our custom phosphor mix. So this is a proprietary mix that we created um, it's unique in the industry. It gives us some of the highest CRI ranges uh, out there, um, gamut fidelity. And what's unique about it is that it's the same phosphor mix we use throughout all of our products, right? So now if you use Celeste um, and you do a certain uh, part of the project, and then maybe six months later you add on to that project, if you use 2700 Kelvin earlier, it's going to be the exact same 2700 Kelvin when you order it again. It is completely consistent across the board. There is no color shift or CCT shift. So I'm going to turn this on to you just to show you. Obviously, coming through a video camera is not going to show you the best, but you can see this is a low 3000 Kelvin. Shine it like that, right? Definitely get this in hand. See how it actually shines on your actual skin tone. Um, it really renders the skin uh, correctly. You don't get a sickly feeling or a pale feeling or sometimes with certain lower end LEDs, you'll almost get like a yellow tint to the actual skin. Um, last couple things to note too with our tape, uh, Celeste tape light is we are one of the only manufacturers out there that you can cut our tape light in field and solder and it won't void the warranty. So make sure that all your installers know that that is a huge one. Um, most of the time, if they screw up the solder, then they have the onus is on them. They have to take the responsibility and they end up having to uh, take the bill as well. Also, Celeste does come in a wet located version. You can see here, unique about our, what's unique about our wet located silicone is that's actually a fully encased sheet. So a lot of products out there, you will see a half moon silicone. And then on the back, you won't have any silicone whatsoever. So even though it is UL listed, if water seeps through the back, you're going to get damage on that PCB and that electrical circuit board. We give you a fully encased uh, sheet. And the other unique thing about our wet located tape is we're one of the only lighting manufacturers out there that you can cut our wet located tape light in field and keep its UL listing. Most tape light manufacturers out there, they hide that data in the spec sheets. And unfortunately, if you do anything with wet located tape, you have to know all of your run lengths up front, all of your dimensions, right? You can't cut it in field or it won't keep that UL listing. With us, you can cut it on that actual solder pad, that cut point, take the end cap, put silicone in it, pop it back on, pressure it, and you're good to go. So, all right, we'll jump back to the slides here. I wanted to talk uh, a, a few, a little bit about the differences in the details, right? The gold nuggets that make Celeste different than most of the tape light, uh, tape light options or uh, manufacturers out there. Uh, so a few things, right? First, we have true single SDCM LED binning. Um, you might have heard of single binning or micro binning. 
these are really washed up terms. Uh, these don't matter nearly as much anymore because even if you have a single bin, you can still have very inconsistent color shift among that actual product. For us with uh, Celeste, this is the highest standard you can do for actually choosing your diodes, right? So true single SDCM LED binning. Also, due to us actually designing this tape light ourselves and engineering it ourselves, we can give you the longest warranty in the industry by far. So you have a 12-year warranty with Celeste. This is a no BS warranty whatsoever. We really very rarely ever reject warranty claims. Um, we want you guys to trust us. We want you to trust the actual product and the confidence that goes into this product from us designing it. So keep that in mind. This is a big one to sell if you're working with a homeowner or the owner of the commercial building, letting them know that you know tape light no longer is just for DIY projects. It's no longer fickle. We can give you a warranty that really stands behind the product. Um, also, Celeste has a 98 CRI. Um, that is really above standard by far. That is even above spec grade. Um, this is an average around there or like higher average. Obviously, some CCTs do go down a little bit lower to maybe 96 plus or 97 CRI. Um, but the big thing to talk with CRI is that not all CRI is the same. Um, this is something that in the last five years has been a huge difference in the lighting industry um, where CRI is really just the measurement of all of the colors combined instead of actually taking from r1 through r8 and actually adding on to that now there's the actual tm30 scale which is r8 up to r15 and all this means is adding on different colors that they didn't use to render and being able to give each one of these an actual rating so r9 which is what you usually don't see with cri is one of the hardest colors to render by far because it's red but it's the most important color to render by far because of this, uh, the red in your actual blood and your skin tone. Red is in so many other different types of colors. It's in wood, all these different types of applications that will take red. So we're very, very um, adamant about having some of the highest R values in the game. And with Celeste, you're at anywhere from like a 97 plus R value and even higher on some of our R values. Really unheard of in the game. Also, gold uh, plated solder pads, you saw that. That really is just for better connectivity and conductivity. Um, custom phosphor mix, that's another huge point I already touched on. Um, we also do dim the dark options or down the 0.1% if you use our Celeste tape light with the right dimmer and our Omni Drive X. Um, and as well as our gamut and fidelity, which I'm about to touch on in a second, that really kind of um, uh, going into the what why you really want to have gamut high gamut and high fidelity and really that's just about the best way to explain gamut fidelity is if you can render a color correctly but it can look like it's in 1080p or 720p versus being able to render that color correctly and actually it be in 4k or 8k um, good saturation of that color so this is what you usually see with a cri right so you'll get the natural white light um, it will render that apple, right, or that uh, sun, um, and it will end, uh, render that apple the right red, right? But then with artificial white light, what you get is some type of distortion of the red. So that's what you usually see. These are the actual new types of colors that we're working on. So usually it was R1 through R8, which is that light reddish purple. As you can see, R9 or T TCS9 is a strong red. This is hands down the hardest one to render. So what most people do is this next slide, right? They will have very high color renderings in all of the other ones or some of them. But as you notice, this is a uh, this is actually a 90 CRI product that is doing this rendering. So you can still see they got a 90 CRI but their R9 is extremely low this is what we don't do we do the opposite of this we make sure that all of our colors are as high as possible so and then um, just wanted to show you this next slide right here this is the color vector graphic this is really just uh, this is actually being taken from our LM79 report as you can see on the left these are all of the different TCSs and how we are the actual uh, uh, test source, which is red. As you can tell, we are almost spot on on every single one, as well as the color vector graphic, which is so important. Um, usually what you see is the distortion of that red circle. It will be way out far on the red side and then way far out on the blue side. And so you're not actually uh, rendering these colors correctly. As you can see with Celeste, we are almost exactly a perfect circle um, all the way around. So that means you're getting the actual greens, the blues, everything in between the purples, the pinks, the reds, the orange, and they're all going to render correctly. 
And then the last part I wanted to touch on before we get to questions is Gamut and Fidelity. What is unique about Celeste in so many ways is what you usually see is if you have good Gamut, you have horrible Fidelity. If you have good Fidelity, you have horrible Gamut, right? And all Gamut and Fidelity is is hue and saturation. And again, the best analogy I can give for this is, yes, you can render a color correctly, but is it going to pop? Is it going to look way too saturated or undersaturated, or do you want that color to look like it is an 8K or 4K? This is why gamut fidelity is so important. And what you usually see is you'll have really high gamuts, which we're trying to get to a, a hundred. Um, and then you'll have really, really over, sorry, we'll get really high fidelity, which you're trying to get to a hundred. And then with gamut, it will be way oversaturated. So instead of a hundred, you can go over, it will be 120, 130, right? So these are just some of the differences that go into our Celeste tape light. And so this is why I really do believe this is the best tape light in the industry by far. Um, and I think we can prove it. And also the best way, right, is to get this in your hand. So please reach out to us, reach out to your local RSM, your local rep. We'd love to send you a sample, shine this on your customer's hands, get a sample of someone else's, a competitor's, you will see the difference. So.